So the KAI, Korean Aerospace Industries, and a lot of people have asked us to talk about the, the FA-50, which we will in a second. If, most of you know, uh, or some of you may know, you may not, Lockheed Martin was working with the KAI because they were going to, the FA-50 was going to be the competitor to the T-7. And part of it was the displays were going to match the F-35. It was a lot, a lot of plug and play and stuff like that. So the Korean aerospace uh, industries plans to capture over 50% of the global single seat light fighter market by developing a single seat version of its a FA-50 because right now it's more of a trainer. They are using it in like close air support, like light attack kind of uh, scenarios. And it was a competitor for that too. It might, might still be out. I, I don't know. But uh, they've widely uh, sold, and you can talk to this, Gonky. Recent sales of FA-50s to Poland and Malaysia have yeah. prompted the revival of earlier plans for a single-seat version. They were initially abandoned in uh, for the KF-21, which we're also going to talk about the KF-21, because that thing is like, dude, these guys are, are kicking some ass when it comes to developing and producing these aircraft. They're faster than everybody else. So yeah. uh, a single-seater, which would just be the F-50, will be offered to nations that still operate the older uh, F5, A37, A4. So who's that? Like uh, with Chile, that, don't they have? A4s? Uh, don't they have? A, yeah. Uh, who has A37s? Brazil? Oh, dude. I, I yeah. don't know. So, yeah, uh, it'd be some one of the South American countries. South American countries, countries yeah. Countries, yeah. Um, the older MiG and Sukhoi models to meet the requirements of these nations it will be tailor-made according to their specific needs, reduce costs, or change its current canopy and overall appearance. Uh, special emphasis will be given to increasing its range by replacing the back seat with a large fuel tank. I would rather have <laughs> the extra gas. <laughs> and here, ladies and gentlemen, is why it's always better to be single seat. Yeah, the uh, F50 send, mover. Send, <laughs> they all, <laughs> send all hate mail to gonky ready room at gmail.com. <laughs> he will read them for me. Uh, and air to air refueling, which they just did, like I said, with the KF 21, which we're going to talk about here in a minute. Uh, 300 aircraft sales, first car country targeted being Malaysia. And then they, uh, with that country's already getting the FA 50. They also hope that, dude, what is tenant? What is this, Gonky? Hmm. What is this? Tenet, 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 Tentera, Udara. I can't see, man. It's not big enough, but that sounds, that sounds very Malaysian. Okay. Can T U D M? Oh that's yeah, T-U-D-M. That's, the, that's T U D M is the uh, Royal Malaysian Air Force. Oh okay, I thought they were the RMAF. Uh, uh, yes, that too. Okay, <laughs> Got many names, <laughs> much like Donkey. We'll also <laughs> consider the F fifty F fifty, which is the F K F twenty one, as a replacement for its Su thirty and the Hornet. Mm. Uh, and then at present, the uh, R CAF Rock CAF. Has not shown so their own country has not shown any interest in this FA 50 development. Well, that sucks, but you know, if you can, I mean, it's kind of like our Viper, right? We don't have we don't export, we don't buy it for ourselves, we just export it now. That the uh F 50 or the FA 50, I think, is very Viper ish, right? I mean, the gear kind of oh, looks yeah. the same, yeah. and I, I think it's a I think it's a sweet jet. I uh, did it say, are the Malaysians buying this? the the two seat or the single seat or is the single seat not out yet not out yet so 2028 the start oh. of the project is this year with completion by 2028 which by today's metric in the yeah. united states that is fast that's super fast four years yeah. four yeah. years no way yeah the uh the uh, for a smaller country man like malaysia that 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 jet, oh I think, is... dude you can't call them small countries man have you learned nothing <laughs> A smaller air, a smaller air force like the RMAF. I think an airplane like that is is quite valuable because it has a lot of performance, a lot of capability, and I think it's going to be a lot less expensive for them to operate because that was that was their thing. I mean, right? So when I was there, they had Su thirty, Mig twenty nine, F 18s They had three frontline yeah. fighters, eight Hornets total. I think eighteen Su thirties total. I can't remember you know, maybe a dozen and a half of MiG-29. So like you're talking smaller numbers and like anytime you're dealing with the smaller numbers like that, you lose the economy of scale. Right. So yeah, the, the, you know, the guys that I talked to there were like, we, we have too many expensive jets. So 
Um, yeah, that's not surprised I mean, they went with with the F A fifty. I think it's an awesome little jet, dude. I, honestly, it's it's it goes to like what's the threat versus kind of what what <clears> your <throat> what you need, right? And we yeah. talked about this with the Canadian Air Force, which a lot of people got mad about. But if you're only looking to do small scale engagements and you know limited air to air capability, maybe this is what you want. You know, some kind of light attack, it, it, right? It's about what makes sense for your mission. You know, if you're not trying to project power, a fifth gen aircraft probably doesn't suit your needs. No, much. I mean, no. And you got to look at, co- co- yeah. And you got to look at the cost. I mean, not just talking about the cost of the airframe. You're, everything's, ex- everything's exponentially more expensive when you t- start talking about fifth, even fourth gen. Right. And I, I, I would say the F 50 is probably light fourth gen i mean right i mean it's got yeah i mean the capabilities of that thing i think it's a cool jet man i would i would love to fly it i bet it is like i bet it's like a little sports car yeah i mean so they uh the block 10 is a software upgrade can be used the uh sniper targeting pod it actually has the capability to do bvr beyond visual range air to air missions carrying the aim 120 it's got an isa radar Wow. <laughs> really? So, okay, yeah. On 15 May 2023. Now, this is Wikipedia. So, you know, uh, KAI chose the Phantom Strike among two candidates, Raytheon Phantom Strike and Northrop Grumman's AN APG 83, which are being considered as the ESA radar for the FA 50 Block 20. Uh, that Phantom Strike, which also be used in the Block 2 version, weighs 150 pounds. Dude, the nose authority on this thing's got to wow. be incredible. Yeah, that's yeah. fun. Man. I bet it's fun. I mean, it's a fly by wire <laughs> system. Oh, yeah. Uh, it's got the radar, radar altimeter. It's got uh, as a three barrel cannon version of the M61 Vulcan mounted internally behind the cockpit, which fires uh, linkless 20 mic mic. Wingtip rails can accommodate the AIM 9. Uh, and it has underwing hardpoints, a Maverick, Hydra 70, uh, CBU 58, Mark 20 cluster bombs, wow. Mark 82, Mark 83. I mean, it's like a little Viper, dude. I mean, you know, it's yeah. got ECM pods, Lightning Sniper, CD97. Yeah. Uh, we talked about the AIM-120, uh, but it has provisions for the Python. Oh, wow. Yeah. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> so. Oh, that's scary. Uh, and you'll love this one, Gonky, as a Navy man. It will have the ASRAM medium and short range air-to-air missiles available for integration on the future KFX. <clears throat> I mean, it sounds like a full-up multi-role. <laughs> so, uh, operational yeah. history: uh, the Rock Af, Indonesia, Iraq, Iraq, Philippines, they fly Thailand. In. Who Iraq? Iraqi Air Force, yeah. Uh, well, it was a negotiating, uh, and then uh, they reopened the lead-in fighter jet for twenty-four, which TA fifty competed. It was announced the Iraqs. Oh, they did twenty-four aircraft, FA fifty. Uh, however, they weren't flown until June twenty twenty-two. Hmm. Um, and then Philippines, Thailand, Poland, Malaysia, Egypt is on the list and Senegal, man, when we hit it big, put us, put us on the list for one, dude, there's all <laughs> like the whole possible list. Um, the well, TF 50 a was on the contenders for the U S air force advanced tactical trainer program, export a hundred to 400. And that's what it is, dude. That's perfect. Yeah. That's what you need. That's your IFF. I mean, if you're if you're making sorry, views are our own and do not represent the DOD, but <laughs> of course they I'm are. I'm just saying that sounds awesome. Yeah, that well, it was in the running, right? It didn't it didn't win, but yeah. Um so the F fifty is a proposed single seat multi role fighter variant. In twenty sixteen it was canceled in favor of the KF twenty one, but in twenty twenty four the designing of the variant it was restarted. Uh, Indonesia has a T-50 for the Indonesian Air Force. Mm-hmm. Um, so, yeah, I mean, dude, I'll tell you what, um, that's pretty cool. A lot yeah. of them just bought them as trainers, but, dude, that's a good capability, you know, to have. Well, it's, I mean, that's the, dude, that's the multi of multi role, right? So, yeah, you can yeah. use it as a trainer, but guess right. what? If bullets start flying, it's like, okay, school's over. Yeah. Put the hard points on. Put the hard points yeah. on. Yeah. Uh, you know, here, here we go. They shoot uh, back boys and girls. Yeah. Here we go. Yeah. Well, I mean, right. I, I mentioned it last week. 
right? Back in the day, the Navy used the TA-4, right? I mean, they, they used it for training and then guys would go straight over to the A4 rag <laughs> to, yeah. to learn how to, you know, shoot the real stuff off of it. So it's not a bad, it's not a bad, uh, plan really. I mean, think yeah. about it, all your maintenance and all your logistics and systems is uh, streamlined for the training part and even Dude, some of the, even the operational. I am a fan of buying more jets. Like mm -hmm. I think numbers of, you know, medium capability, is is better than few high capability you know you, well you need a mix you know you need you need a mix you know you need the you need the workhorse and you need the elite and then somewhere in between um but with technology the way it is you know if you can 150 pound isa i mean dude you can put an isa in a t38 you know i mean well, right you know it's, well it's not you know you say numbers matter they do because 15 plus years ago when i was a young yeah. Hornet pilot. And back then our uh, airplanes and weapons were quite a bit uh, better than Chinese, but they had the numerical advantage. And that's one of the things we were afraid of. Right. You know, yeah. no, so 100%. I mean, it, it didn't matter if we were better, you know, like a hundred of them are coming at you and you got, you know, six missiles. <laughs> so, yeah. 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 Uh, moving on.